Three young entrepreneurs come to Minnesota with a dream of roaming the streets to serve people coffee. It's not the plot of a new CBS sitcom. Oh, that'd be a good one, though. <laughs> it would be. It is the story <laughs> behind the brand new Misfit Coffee. And we have Marcus Parkansky along with Mitch and Alex Bame. Thank you. Did I say it right? You got it. All right, I got it. <laughs> we got Parkansky and, and Alec. We got all sorts of stuff here. Look, you guys came here from Milwaukee. Why, why, did, you, why did you leave Milwaukee and come here? Uh, the food truck laws are a lot better here. And the culture for coffee is better than... Definitely better than Milwaukee. Um, we love coffee here. Oh, we do love yeah. food trucks. Oh, yeah. Milwaukee, there's, I used to live there. There's no real central business district. There's a downtown, but it's not the concentration of people you get here. No, definitely. And it's like there's taco trucks. You see trucks like that. Nothing like specialty. Nothing that will really draw in like a great appearance. And this, I mean, the whole truck coming inside of it is really cool. It's so fresh and so neat looking. Do you guys have a special background other than just being coffee lovers yourselves? Uh, well, what do you know about coffee <laughs> is what Kylie's saying. Well, he's actually the barista. He's been here for six years. Uh, well, well, come on up so coffee. people can see you. I mean. Well, hey, so yeah, I mean, we, I've worked in the coffee industry for a while now, six years or so, and just not wanting to go to college or like hey what are we gonna do we gotta do something you know so that's why we said let's start a business up let's do what we love let's make people smile and make great coffee at the same time now tell people what's going on here right now because this is i know some people will see this and think oh this looks extremely fancy but this is about as basic of a way to make coffee it as really possible, is right? yeah it's yeah. super basic but it also sometimes the simpler things are the finer things and so by brewing coffee this way one cup at a time it's as fresh as fresh gets you know freshly ground Water temperature is exactly what it should be. Everything's on scales, weighed out, timed out, so that way every cup is super consistent and perfect for every customer. Why did you go with a truck versus setting up a shop somewhere? Um, a lot of it has to do with money reasons, being young and stuff. We don't have a ton of capital. We don't want to get a bunch of investments, so this was more in our financial range. And then also, we're the only mobile third-wave coffee and espresso trailer in all of the state, which I think is pretty unique because there's plenty of food trucks, but nothing like this really yet. Now, I love my uh, single origin and third-wave co coffee, but it takes about, what, three and a half minutes? Yep. That's a long time if you got people lined up at a truck, right? Definitely, but... Uh, we can have four going at one time, though. So we can get four cups of coffee out in three and a half minutes if we really wanted. Six cups. Yeah, and but then it, we have espresso bars. So, like, people will order drinks there and up front for the espresso drinks and these, and it equals out. And plus, a huge thing about what we do is customer service. You know, we want to be able to engage a customer, teach them something new that they maybe don't know, get to know how their day is going. And so that three minutes... You don't really know that you're waiting through. Yeah, it's not too bad. You're done. Right? When you're talking and you're having a good time and you smell the fresh coffee brewing right through the window, you know. Look who's lurking outside, yeah. though. <laughs> no shocker. Matt Brickman is our resident uh, coffee expert, I would say. And you you are very happy about this situation, Matt. Well, I saw there was a cup poured over there. Would you mind? Can, right. I, can I give it a go here? Yep. What oh, is this? This Which is I Bali. Bali, all so right. It's an Indonesian coffee. That's going to be more of like a rich, dark chocolate with like a dried cherry sweetness to the finish of it. But it's really smooth. Really smooth. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. Good. Marcus and I, same wavelength. All right. It, if it gets the Matt Brickman approval, that is about as high praise then you know as it gets. Good. I loved We came out to the truck, and he was standing in here already kind of lurking <laughs> around. What's so. it cost for a cup of coffee? Uh, three dollars for a twelve ounce and three fifty for a sixteen. That's great. That's really good. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. Good thank luck you to you. Guys. I love thank the story. You. Brothers and a buddy leave in Milwaukee. Great. It's always a smart move to leave Milwaukee and come to Minneapolis. <laughs> I still love it there. It's I did great. it 12 years ago. Coffee comes from there. You know, we get Valentine coffee out of Milwaukee. We get chocolate out of Milwaukee. So we still support some hometown favorites of ours, too. We'll make Minnesotans out of you. And Are you Packers time. fans? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't oh, ask. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, while they make us some cups of coffee, because I'm assuming that's yeah, what you'll do right while now. I do the weather. <laughs> a great looking week. It's still good coffee drinking weather oh, early yeah. in the morning, right? Uh, you can find out where the truck is going to be by going to Misfit Coffee on Twitter, and they'll tell you where they are, and you can check it out. It's I good. It's that. very good. I just tried it. It's it's, oh, I can't wait for my cup. I'm assuming it's it's around here somewhere. All right. Well, <laughs> exactly. They're on it. You're oh, hearing, I hear it. That's a good sound. Uh,